At midnight tonight, the new project comes just weeks after the Canadian rapper released his most recent album and hours after he debuted a new music video. The newest drop caps off a very busy year for Drake. I'll say this to you, I'm not, I feel no need to appease anybody. The ever prolific Drake is releasing new music tonight. I feel so confident about the body of work that I just dropped that I know I could go and disappear for whatever, six months, a year, two years. The rapper took to social media early this morning to tease Scary Hours 3. The surprise extended play will be out at midnight and in typical Drake fashion, the announcement was accompanied by a video showcasing Toronto. Well, you know. Who knew Drake loved the Toronto Symphony Orchestra? The previous chapters in the Scary Hours series were also EPs. The first came out in 2018 and featured a hit we're sure you're all familiar with. Scary Hours 2 dropped in 2021 and made Drake the first artist in history to have three songs debut in the top three of the Billboard Hot 100. Well, summer all I did was rest, okay? And New Year's all I did was stretch, okay? And Valentine's Day I had sex, okay? We'll see what's about to happen next, okay? 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 The announcement comes just a month after Drake said he planned to take a break from music due to stomach problems and caps off an extremely busy year for the rapper. Women when they start debating about who the gold, I'm like, go ahead, say it then, who the gold? Just 24 hours ago, Drake dropped the music video for First Person Shooter, his collaboration with J. Cole. I still want to give me a song where I beat. Can't trust everything that you saw on IG. Just know if I diss you, I make sure you know that I hit you like I'm on your call ID. And just three days ago, the pair announced a joint U.S. tour kicking off in 2024. Biggest way. Biggest way. Biggest way. The tour named It's All a Blur Tour. Big as the what? Is an extension of the It's All a Blur Tour Drake is currently on. Last month, the rapper released his eighth studio album, For All the Dogs. Not surprisingly, it debuted at number one on the U.S. Billboard 200 chart, becoming Drake's 13th release to reach number one in the U.S. Look. The money speaking for itself, I call it fortune tell. The album also featured Drake's son, Adonis, and the cover art was drawn by the six-year-old. To cap off the busy and successful year he's had, Drake also received some Grammy nominations last week for his collaborative album with 21 Savage, Her Loss. I hate a privileged rapper that ain't had a hit since he signed us, y'all. Nominated for Best Melodic Rap, Best Rap Song, and Best Rap Album, Drake's submission of Her Loss breaks a four-year beef between him and the Grammy Awards. It still remains to be seen if Drake will show up at the ceremony in February.